Hi, my name is Isabel, and I'm going to talk to you about the coronary computed tomography and geography, the procedure. Coronary computed tomography and geography is a non-invasive method to image the coronary arteries. The applications include the following. Diagnosis of coronary artery disease. Diagnosis of instant restenosis. Evaluation of coronary bypass prep patency. Patients are instructed to avoid caffeine and smoking 12 hours prior to the procedure to avoid cardiac stimulation. They are also instructed to avoid eating solid food 4 hours before the study. Metal objects including jewelry, eyeglasses, dentures and hairpins may affect the CT images and should be removed prior to your exam. A nurse will insert an IV line into the vein in your arm to administer conscious material. You may be given a gown to wear during the procedure. You will be asked to lie on a narrow examination table that slides into and out of the The technologist will clean three small areas of your chest and place electrodes on these areas. Men may require a small area of hair to be shaved on their chest to help the electrodes stick. When a contrast material is introduced to the bloodstream during the procedure, it clearly defines the blood vessel being examined by making them appear bright white. The electrodes are attached to an electrocardiograph monitor which shows your heart's electrical activity during the test. Anybody in the room should be wearing protection during the procedure. While lying on the scanning table, you may be asked to raise your arms over your head for the duration of the exam. This will help improve the image quality. You may be asked to hold your breath during the scanning. Any motion, whether breathing or body movements, can lead to artifacts on the images. Next, the table will move quickly through the scanner to determine the correct starting position for the scans. Then, the table will move slowly through the machine as the actual CT scanning is performed. The computer workstation that processes the imaging information is located in a separate control room where the technologist operates the scanner and monitors your examination in direct visual contact and usually with the ability to hear and talk to you with the use of a speaker and microphone. Thank you for watching.